Coming hot. Hot. My name is Max. This guy is Sam. So we got, got a, a camera, camera, some mics. So you know what's happening. happening. Some shows are great. And some shows are smart. Some shows make no sense right from the start. We tried to split the difference. And tried to do it all. We'll save you the suspense. Here's, Here's what, what it's, it's called. called. This is the Pretty Good Podcast. Chorus line. It's the chorus line. It's the perfect time. It's the perfect time to describe what this show is in a few lines. As long as we're not in a rush. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first things first, this pillow. Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. So this pillow is what I want to talk about first. Pillow? This pillow right here. Hi, welcome back. This hey, pillow. welcome back to the podcast. We hope you have enjoyed the last few episodes. I want to talk about this pillow, so strap in. <clears throat> My uncle drew the design for this pillow. Can we thread count on a good story from you <laughs> yeah. about this? So he does these series of little cartoon characters with like little simple but like meaningful messages. So like the tiger mm-hmm. says like watch yourself, right? And then there's a turtle that says like go with the flow. And there's like, um, uh, there's a monkey and a parrot, and I can't remember their messages right now. But they're all great, and you can buy them. Oh! You can buy them in prints, you can buy them in pillowcases at uh, jasonlargeillustrations.com. And so I just wanted to plug that a little bit. Do it one more time. We're going we're gonna to plug Jason that. jasonlargeillustration.com. We'll give you a, a pillow to, to yeah. lean on. It's a nice little pillow. It tells you to watch yourself. You know, it doesn't hurt to be is, reminded. It's a good message. You know, you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. So, don't get it twisted. But that's sick. I didn't know that. Yeah. And are there any more in here that are that are name Actually, brand? Well, every every painting in this room is one of his that we can see on this opposite wall. But none of the other products are oh, yeah. in here. That says Jason on it. Uh huh. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, and some of these are recognizable. Like, that's that's one of those, like, you know, when you're driving from McCall to Cascade, or from, you're driving out from McCall to Boise, and you're, like, leaving Cascade towards Boise, there's, like, a fallen, like, cabin shed thing. That's what that one is. Oh. We got one like that on the road to our house in McCall. Yeah. You should paint there, that one, too. Dude, I'll tell them to. Yeah. There's a lot of those. L- just like that. Yeah. Maybe it is that one. I don't know. I mean, there's, be. that is, that is everywhere <laughs> yeah. is the thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, pretty cool little, little, little plug, I think. And, uh, you won't know what that looks like, I guess. Yeah. We can, we can, we can flip the camera around. At the know, end or how something. about this? Let me just take a picture of it. And then when we're editing it, we'll see this and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I have a picture. Oh, what if you do a video and then we overlay the video like a POV? Okay. Okay. Can you do that? Sure. Is it's going harder? now. Slate. We're slated. Slated. We have not done that in a while. Yeah, we don't. We don't need to. Um, okay. Now we're zooming in. There it is. That's it. The beauty. The art. Now you see that this the is filmed on an iPad. <laughs> um. Apple sponsor us. It'd be pretty good if Apple were to sponsor us. Be really, really polite. <laughs> Um, so, <clears throat> saw you at the bar last weekend. Yeah. That was last, last weekend, right? Not two weekends ago? That was last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. The most recent weekend. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah. What did we do? We were both just very drunk at Hump and Hannah's. Yeah. Yeah. Hump and Hannah's is the name of a local bar here in Boise. It's Okay. Not my favorite. It's all right. Yeah. It's not my favorite. It's cool that you have like live shows and stuff sometimes. That's fun. But yeah, yeah it's the only like live shows I've ever seen is just Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, sometimes it's cool to see like someone performing yeah. instead of like that's just true. The, that's true. Whoever's it's nice at, like today. Karma it's or whatever pressing sometimes. play. Yeah. Um. Okay. Hey. Um. T- two kinds of people who suck. One is the people who say. Thanks for the invite when they didn't get invited to something. 
And the second, hold on, I wrote it down. People who don't notice the seatbelt noise in the car, and they just don't put their seatbelt on. Do and it's just ding, What if they're ding, one and the same? Ding. They probably are the same person. Yeah. I'm sure if you do one, you probably do the other. <laughs> Did both those things happen to you recently? Is that why you're... Uh, no, I just had... Well, I mean, that kind of stuff always happens. Yeah, that's pretty... Um, and it, it kind of just got to where... I'm sure there was a time recently where I was like, I should type this out. Mm-hmm. Because that annoyed me. Yeah. And no, either when sure. I am annoyed, it's silly, or someone checks me. Yeah. And is like, you're <laughs> weird for letting this bother you. <laughs> No, I think I. I mean, I. I think it depends on what the seatbelt one is. Like, yeah, that's fucking annoying as fuck. It beeps a few times. Put it on. Yeah. It. But like, maybe the music is playing loud and they can't hear it. You know, there's situations. The point is, if both of you hear it, if it's like nothing is playing and that's all the and it's like obviously not. It's gonna like it's not gonna stop. Like mine beeps twice and then never beeps again. If you're driving like a Toyota, yeah. But if it's just <laughs> incessantly, it's just <laughs> is this like some kids at work that like don't put their seatbelts on? Like, like we're not going that far. That, but it's also like people I pick up oh, a lot yeah, of the time. I forget you have to show. Like, I can't like be like hey. I mean, I guess I can. It's yeah, probably yeah, it's like I'm on. driving somebody. I probably like it's need to insurance. make sure they have a seatbelt on. But I can't be like hey, you're really annoying me. Not you should just this. do that. <laughs> You're really pissing me off right now, dude. Um, um, okay, fuck yeah. Uh, you know, they say you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But also, you don't miss any shots that you don't take. Chew on that. <laughs> Let that marinate. If you're not taking any shots, you're not missing any. You're just not making any. If you're not taking any shots, you're not getting drunk, baby. Sure, that too. Martha Stewart. You seen any of her... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her Green Mountain coffee? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. She's 82. I can't believe that. Dude, here's something that I wrote on my phone the other day. And tell me if you can decipher. We'll gloss over Martha. Sure. Yeah, we'll what did back. you write I'm down? Sorry. I'm sure it's more important we'll come than back Martha, to Martha naked with an apron on. We'll come back on. to naked Martha. But I just... Ignoramus. Well, you had your notes open. And I pulled my notes open. And then I read this. And I was like... Well, eye for an eye. What is this? What does it say? Squidward. Looking good and shitty is looking at something. CA when you take a picture with your phone. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of like SSID stuff. You wrote that? Or, I guess. I guess you had, oh, that's your. This is like your actual notes. I thought that was like in our thing. And <laughs> no. like, why? Uh, <laughs> so you're just going through just times you've put notes down, dude. That's for, the thing. When I take notes on my phone, like none of them are organized at all. Like I'll just take a new note and then like it's titled with whatever the first, you know few letters are um I'll, I'll check our our original one okay but is so that picture wasn't photoshopped <laughs> what picture of martha stewart dog it's a video it's a video yeah come on i think I and then look at the comments i think i went straight to the comments on it because martha i saw what the you streets told me. you said you said look at the comments and i was like okay i'm going straight to the comments and also that front flip song Dude, that was so good. Okay, yeah, it is a video. It's longer than I thought. It doesn't seem like the it. Natural flavor of pumpkin spice from Green Mountain Coffee. Yeah, that's right. I watched this. And nothing else, literally. Just look at this. A thing of natural beauty. No, 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 not me. Prettier than Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. Insider trade. Spice coffee. It's made with natural flavors. That means they should. Jesus, Martha, 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 mommy. That was my favorite. <laughs> Martha is wildin'. Martha for the streets with that fit. Yo, let's see. Uh, Martha, baby, getting older. No, no. The Martha, baby, not getting older. She's just getting better. And I'm here for it all. 
<laughs> at Max Newton comment. Here's my address, my phone number, my social security. Snoop turned Martha out. <laughs> what did she go to jail? Was it inside trading that she went to jail for? Um, I think it was tax evasion, oh. maybe. Not the only thing with some spicy natural pumpkins. <laughs> Snoop Dogg in that house somewhere. <laughs> okay, Miss Stewart. Okay, Martha. Yeah, she's beautiful. Martha, baby, is you nakey nakey? <laughs> <laughs> you put the spice in pumpkin spice, Martha. I think that's about as far down as I... Um. So I, I think I wrote... So five days ago, I wrote, gave Samson hickey. <laughs> Did I give you a hickey? Oh, um. <gasps> no. Didn't I suck your neck? But you did, like, bite my neck. I did? Yeah. When? At the bar. Okay. What, explain. I don't, I remember kind of, but also I get You I get just kept me and you were like, I'm going to kiss your neck. And I was like, okay. Oh, cool. And then you kissed my neck and I was like, all right, weird, but okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure no one was like, kiss Samson? No. Only, Maybe only I was I going kiss Samson. You might have been going <laughs> kiss Samson. <laughs> Kill John Lennon. <laughs> kiss Samson. Kiss Samson. My friend smashed your daughter in like oh eight oh nine. You're next. <laughs> You're next. Oh my god. There's not enough comments, dude. <laughs> Oh, here we go. C9900 on the original book. Day made. We should uh, take like a couple of our better two to three minute stories throughout once we get to like a hundred episodes and make an album. Yeah. Like a pretty good stories album. Okay. I like that idea. Anyways. Anyways. Anywho. Uh, Anywho. Dalooty doo doo doo. What did you do to this week? What day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday. How was Odds Oh, Odds was good. It was really good, actually. I don't usually. I didn't used to like the Ford Center a lot, but it was really cool, actually. This time, um, felt felt great with Odessa there. The like visuals were sick. Stage production was great. Super sick drum lines. Um, really cool horn lines. Just like a really good mix of electronic and like, you know real instruments cool. which is like my favorite genre do you listen to brass tracks yeah i like brass they come to boise a lot and or they used to i don't know what they do now haven't heard from them in a while also haven't made an effort to hear from them in a while so it's on me um it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay and then i'm also been working on this work thing a lot this week. Here we always. go. But I'm not going to dive so into it. you know it. Samson has a job? I'm not going to dive into it. <laughs> um, oh! What'd you do this week, you fucking red-headed little slut? And I mean that in the most affectionate way possible. I, there's no other way to take it. <laughs> well, let me see. Um, there's a few ways I can check. I hung out with you on Tuesday. That's right, we did hang out on Tuesday. Um, a little plan and emotion. Yeah. A little business meeting on Tuesday. Super business. Um, so maybe Snapchat would tell me what I've done. Have you just been blackout drunk all week? Why can't you yeah, remember? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Well, when I saw you, I went to, we went to a bar and I stole some wallpaper. <laughs> the roll or just like ripped no, it off the wall? I was at the urinal. It had a nice wallpaper. Oh, it was nice. you took urinal wallpaper? Fuck, give me a second. Okay, but from where on the wall? Just, just explain if it I'm was. I'm getting uh, there. Okay. I get urinal anxiety, but I wasn't this night. I was feeling it, mm -hmm. and then I. So you're just peeing in every urinal you can. Basically, just <laughs> yeah. And then I looked in the corner, like, up to the corner. There's a little bit of the wallpaper coming off. Mm -hmm. And I just, if, for what makes it, if it's sanitary, or it, I had to reach above my head. Yeah. Not no, much, but Yeah, no, that, is, that does make it better. I'm just and glad I you went, didn't go, like. 
and just tore it off and threw it in my pocket. Cool. And then... Do you have it? Not on me. You should keep it on you all the time. I know. <laughs> and then if I go back and it's still, like, missing, I can just put it back no, on there. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I was thinking you could, like, put it somewhere else. Oh. And just start switching wallpapers all over the local Boise businesses until you've completely ran out of, like, multiple bathrooms. Yeah. Just do it slowly over, like, a couple decades. Yeah. I, I do need to think long term. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, dude. Those are the pranks that matter. Long-term pranks. I'm talking about the, the long, long cons. Play. I'm talking about the long cons, dude. The 20-year, 30-year plays, you know? Like, yeah, you know, I'm not scamming everybody right now. <laughs> not yet. But, uh, yeah, so I did that. That was a notable highlight. That is notable. And then I, on Monday, I got drunk again and watched musicals and then on Tuesday hung out with you for a little and then went to the bar did I go to a bar? that's what you said yeah I think I did anyways I don't remember going maybe cause you said you stole wallpaper no, that was uh, like oh, the day that was I saw on the you. Weekend. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant that was Tuesday after you saw me. No. Mm. But I think I just went home and no, I don't know. Wednesday. <gasps> Here's something that happened yesterday. I said "fuck" at trivia into the microphone for the first time on purpose. What'd you say? Well, so the whole night I was trying to be really funny. Yeah. Just because I felt good. Yeah, for sure. And nothing was landing. Mm. At all. Mm. It, but it was like when I said fuck, it was like they took all the energy that they meant to put into everything else and only used it for when I said fuck. Because the, the roof came down. Did they laugh? Yeah. What'd you say? Time. Well, there was a question about Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. And he, does a, he did a cover of a Nine Inch Nails song. And it was like, Johnny Cash replaced what swear word with... Uh, or he replaced the swear word with a crown of what? And it's a thorn or a thorn and crown, crown of thorns, whatever. And in the answer thing on the paper that the company sent me, it was like, uh, it had the answer, it was like a crown of thorns. Or no, it said thorns, and then in parentheses it said crown of shit, and then slash, and then after it had slash, and then it said say the S word, like the S word, don't say shit, like say, mm-hmm. cause you know, trivia thing. And then I read it, and then I said, and or said the answer is like it's a crown of thorns. And then it says, uh, a crown of shit is was in the original. And then after that, it says to say the s word instead. Well, fuck. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's then, a good one. The company really teased you up for that one nicely. It was nice of them. Um, their mistake it was my yeah. gain. Mm-hmm. And then one guy said, uh, or I said, that was the first time I've said that here. And they went, are you sure? And I was like, first time into the mic. And he was like, there you go. <laughs> and then, uh, people were cool after that. Nice. Yeah. And now we're here. That's great, dude. I'm happy that, that it went well for you. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Got a t- $20 tip. Nice. That's fat. Yeah. That seems good. That seems really good. Trivia seems fun. I just... It sucks that you gotta go out into Nampa for it. I would never do a trivia game. <laughs> really? I love trivia games. I don't. Oh. I'm good I, at them, though. Yeah? I have a lot of useless information in my head. It's so weird, like, the people that do. Yeah. Like, there'll be some guy who comes in and he's just, like, drunk yelling at... Like, I almost have to, like, kick him out. Yeah. And then they'll be like... To the cent, how much money did it cost to, like, build the Empire State Building? And he'll just know that. <laughs> like, why do you know that? I, mean, I went to trade school. <laughs> what? Dude, I believe yeah. it. And I didn't like welding, so I read an article and it's like, how are these related? <laughs> Dude, that's great. Yeah. No, the last time I did trivia, we won. Oh. 
Was it like a themed one or just random questions? It was at Twisted District. It was just like random questions. Nice. Yeah, we killed it. It was great. And I used to be on Quiz Bowl Qu- oh, in middle school? school and high school. I which is basically that. trivia. Yeah. That probably set you up nicely for future trivia nights. Yeah, dude. And we used there used to be trivia night every Thursday at the Corner Club in Moscow when I was in college. Shout out Corner Club. It's fun. It's just I don't know. It's slow. For I just don't like waiting there. Like there's honestly more of me just waiting for people to send their answers in. Yeah. Than, and it's just I don't know. I'd rather me just talk the whole time <laughs> and then then I'd know, like, you You're know, a bad I'm, host, then. <laughs> you just well, wanna... I'm still doing the work. Yeah, I want to be done. <laughs> like, I'm not, I am not there because I enjoy, tra- I am there for money. Strictly for money. I would not be there if it was not for money. I get that. You know what fucking is crazy to me? That uh, Ironwood Bar and Grill over on, um, like, what is that? Is that Glenwood? Or. Um, oh, or coal, iron, or it's like it's right gin? by the rev. Oh. It's like that, like then it's that building that, that says like bingo on it. I might know what you're talking about. And it's got like I, the I think mural on wood, the side, like or something. They have like a huge fucking. Um, that was weird. I just saw one of the bird feeders was a person in the yard. Um, they have this massive indoor fucking stage and like venue and like i never hear about any shows there ever ironwood huh Mm -hmm. um i was at work and there was this guy in front of me yeah or not i was i turned onto the main road Mm -hmm. and there was a guy who had pulled over yeah in front of me Mm -hmm. and he was standing outside on the side of the road and he like stood out like he, he went like like that like it looked like he was hailing a cap yeah and i just slowed down for a minute and then it looked like it's like you know when someone's waving and it looks like it's at you but then you figure out it's someone behind you yeah and so you're kind of like okay but they're still like pretty much looking at you mm-hmm. it was like that where i could tell he wasn't looking at me so like i went around and gave him like some room and then i found out that because <laughs> i drove over it yeah he had like a piece of plastic or plexiglass <laughs> fell off of like he had it on the roof of his car oh, and it fell off fuck? and he was like doing that to like let me know that there was something in the middle of the road <laughs> and I ran r- right over it and then like four like i saw him after just go like, <laughs> like four or five the four or five cars behind me all ran over it too because he was if he was if he wasn't on the side of the road nobody would have gone around into the yeah. thing he was trying to keep safe oh my god but he basically pushed everyone into the, the glass or plastic oh that he my god want. um that happened that sucks for him what an idiot i know that's crazy do you think this is silly if enough for me to find a real life scenario to use this and then report back on it in a future episode what so maybe me or somebody else says something that's like heavily pandering to somebody okay so damn am i an endangered southern chinese bear because i'm pandering <laughs> or you, however it fits. That's best. bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's bad in a good way. You know what I mean? Like it makes sense. Yeah, like it's well, it's one of those puns where it's just like, oh, <laughs> pandering, pandering. Yeah, pandering. Yeah, pandering. I should, like, are you being a southern yeah. Chinese bear? Because you're pandering <laughs> right now. You're panda-ing right now. You're being a panda. I have you. Maybe, uh, I don't know what sound they make. Uh, maybe. Have you b- b- pulled that out on anybody yet? You. Just now. I just, just ex- want. Tell I want it. you to basically tell me if I should take this out into the streets. Yeah, you should. I want to. I want to hear what happens in real life scenarios. <laughs> so you've might think it's bad and you just want to see me get rid of no 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 no, i want you to think this is gonna like change my life (laughs) for the better like someone will be like what did you just say 
Did you know I'm Conan O'Brien? I can. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to have like an just a- rips off latex like, mask. You I'm not an 80 year old woman. I'm Conan O'Brien. And he's like, you kind of look enough like me. You wouldn't happen to have like an Andy Richter looking friend, do you? Who also <laughs> like spells stuff. And then I'll be like, holy shit. Oh my god, Conan. We can take over your show. <laughs> young Conan, young Andy. <laughs> or we could switch. But I. That's how I thought. That's funny. But, uh, the casting made sense to me. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <sighs> How long have we been talking? 25, 25 minutes? minutes, yeah. It was 21 when I looked. Um, fucking, oh, dude, a couple episodes ago we talked about writing jokes about certain um, oh, yeah. subjects. I flopped that. I also did, but I just wanted to bring it up again so maybe we can like put it back on the burner. Yeah, like I think about it every once in a while. And like uh, I don't even remember what I told you to write a joke about. It was about Hamilton. Oh. Um but I'm just honestly I in my head here's how it's gonna go. I I have it in my head right now. And it's not gonna leave there. And I'm just waiting for it to organically the joke will come to me. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm doing. I feel that. Like That's kind of what I was doing, too. And I was like, because mine's skateboarding, right? And I was like, I feel like I need to go skateboard a little bit. Yeah. And, like, at least, like, devote, like, a week to, like, skateboarding so that I can, like, get in that mindset again. Because I haven't skateboarded in a long time. Yeah, like, I'll watch Hamilton for the 50th time and then be like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Burr. <laughs> joke about getting shot I mean it doesn't duel. it doesn't even like need to be like about the show like it just needs to involve Hamilton like that's true like it can I be more it can Hamil- be more about like the I, I like I would take it more in like a remember when everybody was fucking crazy about Hamilton <laughs> what happened <to> that? <laughs> and then like yeah I don't know or like I would I would do it like from a social aspect probably rather than like a show aspect but like that's the fun thing about it is is you can go any direction that's why I love comedy yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it we'll out I I don't know I'm, I can usually figure word stuff out just give me some time yeah no I feel that um, we should do another song though I agree. Should we like choose a like a different instrument to try like an easy instrument to learn a song on or do like no, an advanced keep, clarinet? Thing? Let's keep the saxophone and clarinet cuz that's what we own and play. Mm. And just for cost efficiency's sake. Yeah. And just knowing scales and basics. Um and let's try to learn a song like a solo or something that's part of like a a more popularized song or like a, a song that actually had you can tell what the fuck we're playing because we're playing the melody <laughs> instead of background i chime in with the sound you ever heard of i don't know the words um, but that song maybe that could be fun dude yeah like or like just any like oh dude what if we did like dear maria Ooh. i don't want to say i bet you could I got your picture. I'm coming with, with you, you, dear Maria. Maria count, count me in. Yeah, that's that's money. I could do that. Okay, I cool. Figure that out. Yeah, dear dear Maria. I'm this bottle and I'm the pen. And you, something. I'm the one. All right. <laughs> broke dude we probably wouldn't be able to post this episode on spotify <laughs> just for like ears eardrum sakes pussies <laughs> turn it down <laughs> do we have to hold their fucking Fuck hands you dude i listen to everything at full volume oh but you don't have to Oh, but I do. 
or you're wrong, dude. It's I like, gotta jam out to everything. It's like, do you need me to tell you how to listen to everything? No. Just turn just it d- down if it's too much. <laughs> It's your life. I'm not going to live it for you. No, it's not that it's too much. It's just that like when you're listening to a 45 minute long podcast, when you're just expecting dialogue the whole time, and then someone just sings at a high pitched enough volume to shatter a glass. Then you turn it down. Random, <laughs> and then it, that never happens again for the rest of the episode. You, There's no point in turning it down. Yeah, huh? Because it hurts your ears. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Damn, you don't have to just suffer. Maybe I'm comfortable with listening to stuff super fucking loud. Also, I have plenty of sporadic outbursts. You should know. This will happen once in a while. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That's the Goodness. best point. That's the best point. So we have to put a warning on? Like, hey, yeah. Max might... Yeah. Okay, do you see those flowers over there? Sorry, I yelled. Yeah. Wait, which ones? There's two plants. The one on top the of The one that looks fake. You'd think those look fake? The ones on the shelf? Yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. The yellow one's like reflecting something. <laughs> it's like shiny. Do you th- what do you think they're made out of? It's like fucking Legos or something. They are made out of Legos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy though? They look pretty good for Legos. Did you make them? No, I think my little cousin made them. Or put them together with my grandma or something. No shit. Yeah. It's like a set on the Lego website. Huh. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, Lego's doing like all these like adult sets now that are like model sets and stuff, like collector edition stuff. Dude. I would I want like a Lego puzzle that you build like the picture just straight up like one Lego width thick, like basically that, mm-hmm. but Legos. And then you build like a Lego frame around that. They have hang a starry on the night. Wall. One like tight. that. Right now for sale on the website. We should build it. I'm down. My uncle's in the process of building a globe that they made that like actually spins and shit. Damn, son. Yeah. Why don't we make Legos of ourselves? Dude, that would actually be really fun. Like big bus of our faces. Yeah. Like you do me and I do you. It'd be cool. We can make, like, Lego helmets, like, heads for us, Dude, for each other. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. We need to get a lot of Legos. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I, I'm sure they make, like, costumes for Legos. We could get a helmet or, or, like, a head thing. Just, like, the yellow, like, brick pieces for us. So <laughs> you have one and I have one. Then we get, like, the claw hands. That'd be hilarious, actually. Yeah. We could probably make those. Yeah, pretty easily. Like some cardboard and paper mache. Some yellow shit. Yeah. 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 Like a marshmallow mask. Yeah. Yeah. We should talk to Willie. Remember Willie always had crazy ass Halloween masks in middle school. He was good. He had at that masks. dead mouse one, and they had the halo one. Willie, oh, Willie, and Dominic always had the best costumes. We, dude, Halloween's coming up. We should see if Willie has any of his old Halloween costumes so we can show them on the fucking podcast because they're actually. Pretty yeah, he was impressive. crafty. Like, I, did he make those, or did Wayne make those, or did Jenny make those? Like, I'm sure there was some, uh, you know, multiple collaborative minds. Yeah. Um, tackling that venture. Yeah. I tried to say that as douchey as I could. Yeah, for sure. You Instead definitely accomplished. I'm sure it. they all did. I'm sure they all worked <laughs> on it. <laughs> Ah, man. Beautiful, 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 beautiful family items, beautiful family things. Uh, What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. Yep. Got a big, big work meeting. And then after that... You're going to be tired? After that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably staying in this weekend, just... I get paid tomorrow, so I'm probably talking on my ass right now. I'll probably go to the bars and fucking get blackout drunk. It's a paycheck like uh, that first shot to you where you're like, like that hair of the dog where you're like, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know we were playing fastball. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I worked an extra two hours this week. <laughs> that's like a drink somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm on salary, so I don't get overtime. Unfortunately. 
I'd get paid probably way more if I had overtime. Okay. But that is like how it feels when I get paid. Yeah, I know. I'm it was funny. Yeah. Sorry to stomp all over your <laughs> hilarious analogy. Samson's on a salary. I'll get that right next yeah, time. Yeah, I get it right, bitch. Full benefits. Yeah. So like, like, I could break that finger and you'd be all good. Oh is what yeah. You're saying? Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get insurance just to like? <laughs> see what it's like to get hurt <laughs> dude the other day just jumped in front of a car cause I'm like I got insurance baby who cares <laughs> for the bit dude dude if I just knew if I didn't die from any injury and knew like it was covered getting better oh, do you know how many this. injuries I would put myself through like for the joke <laughs> dude I saw Rainier send me this meme like on Instagram like four days ago that was like very similar sentiment to that it was some guy and he was like he tweeted like if dude if like i knew that i could roll my car and just be okay any minor um, inconvenience i would just roll my car for the bit <laughs> <laughs> cut off in traffic roll car <laughs> yeah that's like, a good i one. get that that is a really good one like it would be really funny just like for a joke to like severely break something <laughs> Like, even if it's not, like, let's just say you had fuck you money, and I could just, like, hey, Samson, I'm going to put a sledgehammer through your window. <laughs> You'd be like, Max. And I'm like, <laughs> the guy's already on his way. He'll fix it. <laughs> I would do that. Yeah. I would call the fixer guy and say, hey, man, be on standby. I'm going to break something. <laughs> I you need to replace in five minutes. Con- you just have a, con- a personal contractor and, like, crew of tradesmen who follow you around all day. Yeah. Just in case you break some shit it's somewhere. Like, I want to I flip that table over. And you guys can't fix it. That's what I'm paying you for. <laughs> Atomic elbow. <laughs> <laughs> or like just like swat food trays out of people's hands. Yeah. Like, get two of them. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Here's 200 bucks. <laughs> I would love that. Do people get so mad when you do that though? <laughs> but like what if I gave them like an amount of like I, they order like five bucks of food at McDonald's. I walk in between like at the drive through take their food and just stomp on it and then throw a thousand dollars in their car. Okay, they'd probably be happy. You mad anymore? No. Uh, <laughs> Go to Wendy's. Me, me and uh, me and my buddy Reeves in college would get really drunk and then he'd come up to me and like we'd just be talking and he'd just like slap my beer out of my hand and like I would do that so <laughs> much. And then I'd like walk up to him and do it to him and then it would just like get like violent like back and forth to the point where like neither of us are drinking at all we're just opening uh, beers to get them slapped out of each other's hands i would like, like have it, a it fresh was, one behind my was, back and then it was a fun bit honestly and then we started doing it to other people and they're like what the fuck is your problem and we're like I'd laughing <laughs> <laughs> like i thought that was funny and everyone's just looking at us like that was lame as fuck dude. I'm like inside joke you don't get what? it <laughs> it's not, not the most hilarious thing <laughs> I'm spilling beer on the ground and not cleaning it. What's not hilarious about that? I'm See, in a fraternity. I'm it already, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> well, it's just think of just anything like splatting on the ground. The yeah, sound, it, the look, the, everything dude, about it's a beer, silly. Like just like the yeah. Oh, dude, it's it's great. A glass, like anything being thrown aggressively at the ground, is really fun. It is fun. I watched a video today of somebody like filling a little box with candy, but they were like fucking overhand throwing it <laughs> into the thing. Like they filled it up just fine, as if they would have just set the candy in, but they were like beaming it into the box. And it was see, that funny. Shit's hilarious. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. Like, it's dude, funny I seeing things love, splat. I would love to see like an ice cream parlor. Where all the ice cream is scooped on the second story, but the people that have the cones are on the first story and just have to like catch the ice cream as they drop it down. I think in my head, anything that falls and splats, it should go like yeah. right when it hits. <laughs> Most things don't, but they should. If I threw that painting on the ground, it should go, <laughs> but it's not. It's gonna. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's true. Dude, when some sh- dude, I've been like lately. So when I drop something heavy, I'll just like immediately like, go like this and like try to like get out of the way because I'm afraid it's gonna fall on my toes. Mm, <laughs> you do the dance. Yeah, and like 
the other day I fucking like closed my screen door at my at my house and it has the it has these two panes in it. One's like a three foot by three foot like screen and then above it is a three foot by three foot like glass pane. And I like the screen door I like opened it and the fucking screen on the bottom fell out and so then the glass dropped and the glass is like eye level. It fucking drops onto the concrete. And I'm like, ah, it's going to shatter. And so I like, go like this, and it doesn't shatter, but it bounces up. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to break. The second time it hits, and it hits again, and it doesn't break. It bounces a third time. I'm like, no, 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 it's definitely going to break this time. And it just, like, lands, and it kind of leans over on me. I'm like, ah, fuck, dude, like, shaking with adrenaline. Just like, how did that not break? And I was, like, so afraid of picking it up. It's just going to, like, spider web as soon as I touch it. Guess that's why they call it window pane. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, glass. I don't like when something delicate falls and it's really loud, but it does. It's almost like I'd rather it just break because, yeah. like, that's what I'm expecting. No, yeah, like you drop like something glass on the ground and you're like, ah, here comes the shatter, and it just like bounces, and then it's like goes to hit again. You're like, okay, here's the break, and it goes, and it's like bounces and then just kind of like and you're like fuck dude you're like I've dropped my phone onto carpet and it's cracked in half <laughs> what the fuck so true oh, this says a lot about society yeah it does well now what I don't know how long we've been doing this thing for 41 41 nice guess um well, I guess we should probably just ramble for four minutes until we hit 45, just to sound like a standard podcast. Yeah. And then God forbid we just <laughs> cut it short. The last three we put up have been 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> I think it's funner. No, I, I like short edit. ones. They're nice. I don't have to wait a day for things to process. <laughs> yeah, upload. seriously. I know, dude. Ah, that's... Rambling to 45 begins now. That's the one thing, like, about having, like, th- that the iPad, I think, like, limits you to, like, is the upload times and shit like that and process times. Like, if you had a computer, it would definitely be faster. Yeah. But, but the iPad works more. Yeah, but the iPad works really well. And, in, like, it seems like, honestly, the editing on the iPad For a is, podcast, like, way it does simpler. What you need. Like,. And way more easy to use because it seems more drag and drop, like fucking. I mean, for what we're doing, we don't really need much more. No, um, exactly. And I mean, like, some to put the audio there and the video there, mm-hmm. and that's kind of it. And then whatever we put here for this. Yeah, this bad boy. Well, well I mean, shit. It's almost ski season. Yeah, I want to go more than three times this year. Yeah, are you gonna buy a pass? I don't know. I'm going to try to buy have, one like this week. I have like... This is my last year to get a young adult pass. <laughs> just December is just like all shows for me. Like oh, I, yeah. I literally like... Well, th- dude, Bogus is hardly just, open in December. It's more January, February. Yeah. That are ski season. That's true. And like even March, like... I think I'm only putting it off because I just know like most of my ski shit is on its very, very last legs. Yeah. And I just don't want to get a whole new everything. We'll just start getting like new pieces now, like yeah. online, like go on to new schoolers or just go into like some gear like trade-ins and shit. Look for, because like right now is probably going to be like the last few weeks where you're going to be able to like buy a bunch of like shit from that years on sale before this is th- true they start releasing all the new stuff I mean all the new stuff is already starting to be released but <coughs> people are gonna start selling off their old shit for cheap because they want to get the new shit if you have a gibberish ignorant vest I or want it. a level <laughs> one gibberish the striped crew neck with the red and green I'll buy it off of you <laughs> I used to have one, and my friend, I let him borrow it, and then he moved to Alaska. So, <laughs> it's in the last frontier now. God damn it. Anyways, yeah, I yeah. want one. Now, where are we at? 
I think we're at 45. Cool. 44.15. That's fine. It is fine. Um, December 1st through the 23rd, Ultimate Christmas Show. Right over here on Emerald. Right on Emerald. Right over here on Emerald. Right, We're right by it right now. We're right next to it. Kind of there-ish. Yep. So, go to it. Yeah. And, and check out my uncle's illustrations at Jason, jasonlargeillustration.com. Have a pretty good week. Have a pretty good week. Splat. <laughs>